Welcome to this video. I am the governor. I am. Okay. What do we get? Scotch Four Nights. No, this one. Spanish Four Nights. What? That I've never seen in my life. <laughs> Why is that even possible? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's just drop back. The main point of, of an opening like that is to irritate the opponent and maybe um yeah try for check tricks with no time on the clock. Here white is slightly better, but usually I spend like a minute and then I had to have a good position or, or, or more and then lose on time against those weird sidelines. Yeah, probably we'll get some trades now. Or I could um, just retreat the knight. This, okay. So I'm going to play for simplifications here. I've got less space, so this is generally welcome, even though white is of course better. More space and two bishops. I wonder if I can go d5 if uh, if he moves the queen. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. We can also trade. Just trade and play bishop e3. Also good enough for slide pull. Going there. Okay, d5, this f4. Just do this. Tja, not great. At least he doesn't have a knight anymore that he can plant on d5. But um, white is, of course, a lot more comfortable here. So how to do this? Maybe here, f4, knight g4. Just, yeah, knight to d7, I guess. <clears throat> After the queen trade, I think I'm okay. If he trades on g6. I can think about trading on g3. Uh, it's, it's, it's passive, but it's still difficult to break. surprised how he set this up with g4 it's, uh, it's probably okay I see I go g5 yep let's do that Q 
Okay, now he's going back. Hmm, I wonder if a4 is a move or... Yeah, I think I can do that. I mean, c4 is somewhat, somewhat tender. So, no well, taking now doesn't make much sense. I wonder if c5 is some kind of move or if d6 is too too weak. Yeah, I'm going to try to double behind the a-pawn. I think this is okay, actually, because it's very difficult for him to um, to get in um, f4 with recapturing with a pawn. I think it's almost impossible to do. Can I can I do something? Knight coming to d4. I can try. Knight a5. B5 takes bishop b3. Is that is that too ambitious? I can't. Um, <laughs> uh, I can't help myself. So here I can take on b3 uh, on c4, then on b3. Okay, it's probably not going to work. So I have to do this. Yeah, I'm really comfortable here, I think. At least I don't see anything threatening. So, um, can I put the knight on e6 maybe? Trying to provoke him to push that forward. Uh, e5 maybe. Mm. Okay, it's not ne necessarily a problem. Okay, then f5. Okay, I should have just stayed maybe. Got a bit too ambitious there. Could have just stayed and nothing ever happens. Hmm, okay. Check. really sure what this is. Can I do something here on this on the pawns there? G2 and bishop c2, those ideas. If he moves this. Knight e5. For knight d3. Probably is a draw, huh? Yeah, I 
think it's a draw. Draw offered. Draw offered. Draw Game of draw. I think it really is one. I don't. I don't see. I cannot really win here. I think I'm not quite sure. Maybe. Maybe I could have done something around here. I think he was ambitious, of course, but I'm not sure if it was was really good. Like here, maybe here, something else. E five was <clears throat> was it was was important. I saw it a bit too late. Can I do this maybe? Yeah, I'm okay, but I cannot really do much in terms of playing for an advantage. I think this endgame was okay for me, despite white having the bishop pair. It is just very, very blocked. And he has problems um, with getting something going. G3, F4 would be good under the right circumstances, but... I don't really see how it happens. And if he plays b4 to do something on the queen side, c4 gets weakened. Yeah, I think it's it's probably a draw. Or it's equal, let's say. This was still interesting. I mean, he could have taken on b5 maybe. But here, here unfortunately, I didn't have any anything else. Couldn't sacrifice a piece or something. Hmm. Yeah, probably a fair result, the draw. Okay, thanks for watching.